Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on a behalf of CCTV desk, we come up with new video. This video is all about a app. Today we are discussing about LTS Connect. So basically in this video, we are going to discuss with you that what is LTS Connect? What are its feature and function? And after that we'll tell you that how you install and download download and install on your mobile phone. And most important thing will after that will tell you that how you configure the app to make the camera live to able to access all its feature. So keep watching till end. Please like, share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are a new one. So let us start. So basically, LTS Connect is an app which is used to connect as well as control the CCTV camera on your mobile phone. And by using this app, the main purpose of this app, you are able to access a live view of the camera even from a connect with a Wi-Fi and you can access from anywhere. So by using this app, not only the live view, you can see the multiple channel at a time and you watch the recording of the cameras, you control the PTZ camera, you save the live view of the camera, even you can record the live view of the camera, you take the snapshot of the video, you can adjust the image parameter like color brightness, color etc. You take the backup of the recorded videos, you download the record and many more. So. Now for installation what you should do just click on the app store and search for LTS connect and here you find that so basically you should click on this cloud like option and even you are installing the first time you, you find the option like get both are the same just click on this button and it will start downloading and after that it will start installing it is totally automatic process you don't need to do anything just wait and watch and now once it is successfully installed on your mobile phone you should find the option open let the process to be finished now you find the option open just click on the open and click allow again click allow now click agree now click ok ok just click on the register and click agree and now click this and here just click on by using mobile number enter your mobile number and after that you ask for a password enter the password get the get security code enter the captcha here And just wait for to security security code to become it is now just click finish now this login cancel now this is the interface of the app now starting from the first thing what you should do you should click on the top right corner and here you found this the first option is scan qr code so basically when you do that you you see that your camera starts scanning so what should you scan the and the question arises here you should find how you get qr code for this you should click on this option main menu and just go to the configuration and go to the platform access over there you should find the qr code you should scan that qr code and if someone sent that qr code you can access your gallery and scan from there okay so this is first option now if you are the second option so basically here you find the two thing like ip domain and lt and lts connect when you click on ip domain if you want to connect by using a local ip address or a static ip address if you using a local ip address then you can access your device you can access your camera only when you are connected to the same wi-fi and if you connect connect click in uh, enter a static ip then you can access anywhere but static ip is not most common a service provider not get the uh, static ip it's only on demand so another way to ac access your camera anywhere is to select lts do connect domain okay i will tell you later how you connect by using lts connect domain and after that just go to the third option online devices when you do that you find that your device comes online like that okay here you should find all that you divide detail and now you find that here, here is the serial number this is not the full serial number if you see that minutely then you should stop on the last character for example here is the last character like c double r starting from c and after that the eight digit code is your 
serial number just here you find the two option add and add to lts connect server so from here you can connect from locally or even you can connect to lts server you can access from anywhere so this is the way this is also the way to connect with your device okay but for that this option for online devices your device and your mobile device both are connected on the, to the same network now i will tell you the option manual adding again when you click on this and click lts domain it asks for a serial number so serial number you can find on the cameras and your on the box of the your devices means box of the D ca camera dvr and i then vr even you get the sticker you can find the sticker on the each and the device where the serial number is mentioned even by using this app i i, I let you know that how you find this uh, serial number from this app even you can log in your device and find your serial number note down that serial number and enter here and enter that serial number so i should enter my serial number and click save you find your device comes like that just click add and it asks for a verification code okay so verification code again you go to the network you go to the main menu and go to the setting and then go to the platform access over there you should find the verification code you should enter that verification code here and click ok and click next here you should rename your device according to your business for example if you connect to home camera then you can just click home camera or home device and if you connect your office camera just click on the office cam or office devices in my case i just generally prefer test devices click save and just single click over there here you should find that your camera comes live okay now i will tell you option each and every option one by one is starting from the just bottom of the screen the first option is the or, is or, orientation option when you click on that your camera comes in the landscape mode and again you click on that your camera comes in the portrait mode after that you find a four square button just click on that basically this is used to view change the view of the camera for example you want to change the view of the camera like this nine camera view just click on that and single camera view find like that and now third option is hd and sd just click on that you find the hd if you click basic your camera become less clear and it take less bandwidth if you click again hd your camera become more clear and it take lot lot of bandwidth after that you find the speaker option just click on that if your camera is audio enabled and you, you want to communicate with your device then you are you can do the same by using this option and after that you find the option play and pause button basically this is used to save the live uh, stop the live view of the camera and now you find the option playback just click on that and after that here you select the date for example if i want to select the date here i select the 28 december and just wait for a few seconds the blue color line is showing the recording for example if i want to check the recording of two pm then i should scroll down like that and in this way i can see the recording and if, if i want to download just click on the this last button and click next and okay and now you you can download the thing from here okay so this is all for recording and after that you find the screenshot button just click on that you just start a screenshot and if you want to change live record the camera just click on this button recording it takes red color red start button to start blinking this means the recording start and if you want to stop just press it again your recording stop and it will set out automatically on your device and after that you find a mic option just click on that basically this is used to uh, two-way communications with your device or even with your cam but this only be used if your device and camera is two-way audio, audio supported and after that you find the option like ptz control of if your camera is ptz and you want to make preset and you want to pan and tilt you want zoom in zoom out then you all the do you can do from here so that's all for this app thanks for watching thank you have a nice day